Hello Scholar, this is Mrs. Kendrick. I am doing a screencast here for you to just kind of help you guys go through the Wix website that, e that we have created for you guys. Um, so welcome to Distance Learning. This website is going to help facilitate all the education until we are able to go back to school, which I am hoping is soon because I do miss all of you guys. I do miss being in the classroom, so uh, it's kind of a hard transition for everybody. I hope that uh, us you know, LEPA staff do make it as easy as possible. Uh, so one way is I'm going to just make this short screencast. Hopefully it won't be more than about uh, uh, eight minutes or so to uh, just kind of show you guys a few things from the website just in case some of you guys are not, you know, uh, just, just to help you guys out. So anyways, this is the home page. When you guys go to the LEPA website and you go to the teacher website, hit that little button that's on there on the home page of the LEPA website. That's going to take you to a list of teachers. You will scroll down to sixth grade. You will see my name and you're going to see a link. You will click on that and it's going to take you to this website right here. Uh, so again, this is Mrs. Kendrick's sixth grade class. This is the home page. On the home page, I do, did include the IXL um, Learning Hub website. If you click on here, it's going to take you directly to that website. If you guys notice there, um, I did send an email uh, giving your parents usernames and passwords for all of you, so hopefully you'll be able to write that down and you can log in if you'd like to start exploring that website. But I did put this here because this is going to be one of the main accounts that we use to help facilitate, you know, the education for you guys. Okay. Down here, I do want to point this out on the home page, kind of towards the bottom, it says helpful videos. This, as I could says right there, gives you a link to my YouTube channel. If you click on there, it's going to take you directly to there and you'll be able to uh, see videos that I upload for you. There's going to be uh, review videos, uh, especially for math, because we're going to be doing, uh, trying to finish up a, um, a section in math that we need to complete. Also, just in the future, maybe if there's questions that you guys have been asking, maybe if there's, you know, one question that a lot of you have been asking, hopefully I'll be able to either do a screencast for you or just do some other kind of video and put it on there so that you guys can all watch it and hopefully it'll help clear up any questions that you guys might have whether it's about education or anything else okay and of course on the bottom is is just the contact information for LEPA so I just wanted to kind of show you guys a few things one of the most important things is that um, each of these sections up here this is all going to contain your guys's lessons for the week so on Monday morning what you can do if you guys have a printer you can print these out if not, it's okay. These are going to be here and uploaded for a two-week period. So if you notice, like I did, I hit the math button right there at the top. It's going to take you to the math page. Um, all of the sections are pretty much about the same. I tried to make them pretty much the same so that you guys would be able to navigate the website easily. Tried to make this as simple as possible, again, so that we can all just transition easily. I don't want to stress anyone out. We, as you know, as staff you know, at LEPA, we're trying our best to make this as easy as possible. So I thought the best thing to do would be to just have you guys click on each section. And then, for example, um, Monday will be March 30th. So because it is the beginning of that week, this is the lessons for that week. So what you will do is you will find that week that you're working on. You're going to click on the button and a PDF will pop up. And it's going to tell you math lessons for the week of, you know, whatever week it is that you're working on. I might have a little note here. I might not. It just depends on the week. You're going to notice it's going to say Monday. So like I said, if you're able to print it out, that is great. If not, it's okay. These PDFs will be here for two weeks just in case maybe something happened and maybe you got a little behind. It will be on the, on the website for at least two weeks for you guys to go back to if needed. But if you guys notice, again, I try to make it as easy as possible. Um, for this week, the first week that we are doing this, um, you're, going to, you're going to still be working on the packet that went home with you. So we are going to be working on the second half of that packet. So if you notice, this is going to tell you, you know, which worksheets to work on and, and to complete that. There's going to be a couple days where I'm going to have you either go on Pearson. Uh, if you guys notice, this is Wednesday. Thursday, you're going to be going on Brain Pop just to kind of watch a video and then do the little quiz that they have for you. Uh, and Friday, just kind of a short uh, Mentoring Minds, part of the Mentoring Minds packet, okay? But again, if you notice, this is going to be for each subject. So for example, this is math. 
This is going to be your math lessons for each day. It tells you what day you will do that math lesson, and then you'll go on to the next subject. Okay? I'm going to click that off. If you notice as well, if you click on this, a PDF will show up. If you were to click on this one, um, nothing, oh no, it is, sorry, I forgot to take that link off. But if you click on this and you notice that nothing happens, it just means that I have not uploaded anything to that yet, okay? Um, most likely they will be uploaded, you know, either that Friday before that week, and if you guys do want to get ahead, you probably can. Uh, but most likely, as soon as Monday rolls around of that week, that's when those lessons will be available for you, okay? Also on the map, on the sections, usually what's going to, not usually, as I have created them, I put the lessons first, and then I'm going to put some of the major links that you guys can go to. These buttons will take you directly to that website. So for example, if I tell you to do a lesson on Pearson, you can click on there, and it'll take you directly to Pearson. Okay. For math, we're mostly going to be working with Pearson and the IXL account. Sometimes you will be doing Brain Pop. Um, for math, I have also listed a couple of resources for you, Khan Academy and Purple Math. If you click on these, it will take you to that website. You can search different content. So for example, if you're having trouble remembering how to do unit rates, you can go to Khan Academy, search unit rates. They have a lot of good videos. Purple Math as well has a lot of good information. Okay. All right. Let's go on to ELA. Same thing, again, if you notice, I tried to make it all about the same format so that it would be nice and easy for you guys to go through. I don't have anything uploaded yet, but if you were to click on this, uh, hopefully Monday morning, you will be able to see, just like the math, it's going to say ELA lessons for the week, and it's going to tell you Monday to do this lesson, Tuesday to do le this lesson, and so on, okay? Reading, usually reading is going to be a separate lesson. For this week, you probably will not have anything here, so if you click on it and nothing happens, please don't worry about it, okay? Um, but the reading will be usually a separate lesson. I'll have something either from ReadWorks, which is why I also included it down here for your reading links. I have ReadWorks. Kelly Gallagher articles, if you notice that this disappears in the future, it's possible I might not use this website. I'm still kind of doing my own research to see what is the best websites I can use to help you guys, or not to help you, but be able to give you, you know, some type of reading to do for that day, okay? All right. Grammar, one more thing I want to point out, which has to do with grammar, science, and social studies. Grammar, again, same format. If you notice, there is grammar. You're going to have the week of this. You would click on it. Right now, again, I don't have anything uploaded, but if you were to click on it um, Monday morning um, or sometime next week, you will be... Uh, you will have a PDF that shows up and um, one thing I want to point out is that for grammar most likely you will only have about one lesson of grammar a week one to two lessons so if you click on it and you notice it only says Monday that's because you're only going to have one lesson that week of grammar okay uh, grammar a lot of we're going to be using brain pop and IXL brain pop I kind of like a lot I think it's a funner uh, um, a website to kind of use. It, it's got some cute videos and um, the little robot I think is funny. So all that good stuff. But anyways, uh, we're probably going to be using BrainPop and definitely IXL as well to, to help um, facilitate your grammar education. Science and Social Studies, once again, if you notice, format is the same. You have your lessons right there for each week and you also have some links. For Science and Social Studies, Science, you most likely will be doing Tuesday and Wednesday, and Social Studies, you will be doing Thursday and Friday. So once again, let's say you go on to Science for the week and you click on there, a PDF will come up, and it will show you probably just Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's it. And again, just so you guys understand, it's, that just means you only have to do Science on those two days. Okay? All right. And uh, some links there for science and the same for social studies. You will be doing social studies Thursday and Friday. So you will notice if you were to click on that, it most likely will show up a PDF that just says um, for history lesson on Thursday and Friday because you're just going to be working with that on those two days. Okay. And then we have some links as well. We might be doing history.com. Again, if this disappears in the future, just know maybe I've decided not to use it or um, maybe we found something better to use. Okay. Alrighty, you guys, that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go back to the home page here.
please feel free to go in, click on links uh, for this week, maybe, you know, look through the website, kind of get familiar with it. There is a welcome uh, video here on the YouTube channel. Make sure you watch that sometime during this week. And that's about it. Um, there is something down here that says less chat. I did include this when I began this website. I don't know exactly how this works. I'm going to try and test it out myself. Um, but I think I might need other people to log in and kind of test this out for me. Uh, we'll see how this works. I'm kind of hoping this is a good messenger a spot to where you scholars will be able to message me and ask me questions if you have questions. But we're going to see how this works out. If for some reason this does not work out in the future, I should be able to delete that from the website. But I'm hoping that this little chat thing kind of helps us out as well. Okay. All right, you guys, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please email me or send me a remind. Um, and I look forward to helping you guys, you know, really kind of get the education, keeping your, your skills sharp that need to be sharp and, and keeping your education going throughout this closure. All right. Okay, guys, have a good day. Stay safe and stay healthy.